Every goal that I score, I can add one player to my team. And what do I mean by that? Well, basically, I'm going to be playing two games, one offline and one online. Now, every goal that I score in the offline game, we are going to be able to go ahead and spin the wheel, see which team we land on. And then we have another wheel that has attributes on it. And then I will choose a player from that roster using these two wheels. And we're going to do that for every single goal that I score against the CPU computer. Now, for the online game, of course, I'm only going to control one player. So every goal and assist that I get that's going to be a plus one on the wheel we're going to be able to spin that and if I score a Michigan or I get a hat trick I'm able to choose any player that I want from any team in the entire NHL now why are we doing this well the Chicago Blackhawks are the worst team in the NHL and we are going to be winning them a Stanley Cup in this video using the wheel and of course using my goal scoring abilities here in NHL 24 now the hard part is we only have five years to do so and once we have our roster from scoring the goals in the two games we cannot change anything and if we do not win a Stanley Cup in the five-year time frame, we fail the challenge. So without further ado, let's go ahead and play up against the computers here in NHL 24 and see how many goals we score. All right, so here we are in NHL 24's play now mode. We got one offline game and of course one online game afterwards. Now the first game up against the computers, I am going to be using the Edmonton Oilers and for the computer team, I'm just going to randomize it three times and whatever team we land on, that is the team that we're going to play here. So let's spin it once twice three times and we have the montreal canadians who i mean luckily for me are not a great team so i should be able to absolutely light them up now obviously for the offline game mode we are going to be playing on superstar three minute periods and the on ice trainer i always have that off it's a i mean it's a good mode i guess for like beginner players but i do not want to see anything on my screen all right so here we are in edmonton alberta up against the montreal canadians i threw on the uh, heritage classic jerseys i thought they were pretty nice but the most important thing here is we got to score some goals so we can rebuild the Chicago Blackhawks and actually have a Stanley Cup contending roster. I lost the faceoff. That's not great. Now, the pressure is kind of on. If I don't score a lot, I look like an absolute idiot. But if I score a lot, then it looks like I have it on a rookie. So I don't think there's much winning here for me. I'm going to push on that draw. Zach Hyman coming through. Hyman. Also, oh, we can get a Mishy too. Mishy? Behind the net. Behind the net. Over to Zach. Ugh, there's nobody in front of the net there. What are we doing? Cody CC. Oh, get destroyed, Cole Caulfield. No, 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 Matheson. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. If we lose to the computer, I will be real. I have not played play now mode or, like, played as a team in a long while in NHL games. I only play. Here we go. Cody CC. Burning wide. I don't know why I shot that. In the middle. Oh, my God. Oh, there we go. He got a power play. It doesn't even matter. I usually just play be a pro mode or I play uh, online world of chill, which is you only play one one player. You don't play the entire team. The time is going pretty slow for the uh, power play here. Here we go. We're cooking with Zachary Hyman. Zach Hyman coming in. No, no, no. We're cooking. We're cooking. And we draw that penalty yet again. We get a five on three here. Still yet to score a goal. Where is Connor McDavid and his blazing speed? Here we go. Two on one. Connor Brown. Back door. Oh, come on, Evander Kane. Back to the point, McDavid. McDavid's cooking here, boys. He's cooking. McDavid, top shelf. No, okay. Good save again. Oh, we're walking that out. Bruh. Great save by Jake Allen, despite the fact that that was a great A scoring chance. I probably should have did some uh, practicing before this, but it's okay. We'll run with it. Uh, McDavid. Oh, McDavid gets bodied. The only way I'm going to score, honestly, is probably if I get a Michigan here. Here we go, behind the net. Connor McDavid. McDavid. Oh, I couldn't get it in. I could not get it in. Uh, back to the point. Over. CC blasted. Another great save again. McDavid, you got to do something here. Connor McDavid. Uh, back door. Back door. What a save by Jake Allen. I have no idea how he did not. Oh my God. Another great save. Poke it in, please. We can't get anything by him right now. He's an absolute brick wall. Back to the point. Nurse. Bang. What a save again, dude. Give your balls a tug. Here we go. Dry settle. Over. Oh my God. Again. Again. I'm getting robbed, man. Back to the point. Over Kane. There it is, a Vander Kane gets us on the board. There's one goal. We finally broke the curse or took the monkey off our back, whatever it's called. All right, the floodgates are open now. We're good. We're by the defender, by the defender, back door. Oh, if that had got through. Matheson coming in. Give your balls a tug. I'm laying the body. I don't even care. I'm laying the body. Oh, that was a terrible give by me. And the computers are going to tie it up, as I think that's Josh Anderson. Now, despite the fact we're absolutely killing them in shots, 15 to 4, we have only scored one goal so far, and it was not a nice one. Let's, uh, let's get a change. I don't know why we have our third line out on the ice. Where's McDavid? I need McDavid to feel like an absolute god out there. Ah, uh, there it is. Connor. McDavid. Gone. 
Around the bend. Oh, what a save again, man. Ooh. Jake Allen. Oh my god. McDavid is hurt. There's no way. Connor McDavid is hurt. He's down on the ice. Cole Caulfield, give your balls a tug. Sit down. He got bodied in the corner. He did get bodied in the corner by Slavkovsky, of all people, is going to injure Connor McDavid. He's tweaking. His leg was tweaking. That Hyman coming in. I feel so slow with Zach Hyman right now. Nurse, blast it, misses the net for some reason. Shoot it. There it is. Finally, Ryan Nugent Hopkins gets us our second goal of the night. Just walks out in a simple little wrister. I don't know how it went in, but the goalie got it. No, no, good save by Skinner. Play it out. Hamlin, move it up, move it up. Derek Ryan gone. Derek Ryan is gone. I'm not passing. I ain't passing. And there it is. Derek Ryan gets his third of the night or gets our third of the night. I mean, this is pretty much absolute domination. Shots are 22 to 9. Time and attack, eight minutes to two minutes. All right, here we are in the third period up against the computers. A 3-1 lead for us, so that means three spins on the wheel. Nuge on the break. Nuge and Hopkins gets robbed by Jake Allen and gets bodied in the corner. Here we are, we're cooking, we're cooking. One T and tip in front for Zachary Hyman, and we got our fourth of the night. Again, Jake Allen keeping the Montreal Canadiens in the game. Evander Kane. Cutting into the middle, shoot that, and Evander Kane is going to absolutely snipe it for the fifth of the night. Simply walked in and said, f*** around and find out. Evander Kane absolutely rips that home from the top of the circles. For the end of the period, so we can head into the online game with lots of room to grow. Also on Michigan, since McDavid's out, I, my best chance is honestly probably Evander Kane or Leon Dreisettle maybe. Oh yeah, there we go. Kane gets the hat trick on the night. His third of the night and six for the Edmonton Oilers, which means six spins. Get it here, dry settle. Dry settle's cooking. Dry. Oh my God, where's it at? Dry, you forgot about it. I'm gonna hit a Michi here, boys. I'm hitting Michigan. Full pressure. Full pressure. There it is. Get out of the way, number eight. You absolute bum. Here we go. Oh my God. Back in, and there it is. Nugent Hopkins gets an easy one right off the draw, and we got seven. A sneak by him. Here we go, nurse. Oh, nurse. Rip that. Darnell Nurse absolutely snipes it. I lost another draw. Holy hell. Here we go. Dry. Go. Go dry. Go skate. Dry settle on the bend. Backhander and puts it home for the ninth of the night for the Edmonton Oilers. And there you go. The Edmonton Oilers are going to win this one 9-1. to one. That means nine spins on the wheel. And now we head to the online game in World of Chell. All right, so here we are in World of Chell. Shorzy has got his Christmas PJs on. The green bucket, the green stick, and we are going to be hopping into a drop-in game. 3v3, we're not going to do 6v6. And of course, for this game, every goal and assist also count for a spin on the wheel. Obviously, if I hit a Michigan, I can pick whatever player I want. If you guys are wondering what loadout I'm going to be using for this video, it's going to be a sniper with 1T. We got elite edges, beauty backhand. We have a very good shot. We're extremely fast. We're quick, good passing. All right, here we are and threes wait a minute are we playing a club game i think we are playing a club game i never got to drop into a different club and play for a different team this is the first time i'm ever doing this and there it is oh my god i'm one goal away from seven hundo every time i've ever done drop in it's always just put me in drop in but here we are in a club game for a different team this is actually really cool right off rip i can tell my oh what is going on with my guy right off rip i can tell my connection is not good whatsoever i didn't look at it before the game head man it feed me on the break can we get our first one? And we do. We tuck it home for the first goal on the online game. Why is it doing that celebration? I press triangle, EA. Nice hit there. I'm gone. I'm gone. Find me. Find me, brother. Here we go. Oh, there it is. We absolutely rip it with a nice spin arama on the break. There's no way they're leaving already. Pasta was on the break. Spin arama, and we shot it far aside. Absolute rip on the goaltender. He cuts in the middle. He's a dead man. He cuts in the middle. No, no, no. I'm, we're watching that. Oh, my God. That, we just got to cover that one T. They're going for that all night long. Oh, yeah. I'm gone. I'm gone. Here we go. On the break. On the break. There it is. We get the hat trick. We get to choose whatever player we want. Three goals so far. And this team, honestly, might quit. Here we go. Nice. Put it home. There it is. 2-4. And we get another one. Do we get an apple on that? I think we do. Bang that home. Oh, my God. How did I not finish that hip check? Oh, I got out of the way. 2 on oh, breakaway. Can he bury it? And he does. And they're back to within two, which is not bad, but they got a 2 on oh, back. And they're going to get one. So they're back to within one here. 
Oh, we got to watch back door, and they're going to get another one. They got three straight here early in the second period. And somehow that is going to go in, and that is seven goals on the night. And there we go. We get one. We're back in the game. We're back to within two. 7-5 burn burner we have here, and that's five points. So that means five more spins. 14 spins on the wheel. I'm gone. I'm gone. Oh, we draw that penalty, and we are going to get a penalty shot here. Do we do something fancy, or do we go for the point? Honestly, here we go. We're going to try the Datsuk flip. We're going to do it. We're going to do it here, boys. We're coming in. Coming in. Coming in. Get in. Get in. Get in. No. It was on the line. The goalie didn't even react to it. I probably should have got a lot closer, but... And that is going to do it. We got five points this game and nine goals against the computer. It was a pretty fun game overall, but now it's time to go ahead and spin the wheel and see who we will be adding to the Chicago Blackhawks. All right, here we are on the wheel. We have 14 spins to do, which actually will end up being like 28 because there's two wheels. The first one is the team wheel, and then we have the attribute wheel right next to it. Let's go right ahead and see which team we're going to land on first here get me give me a good team honestly i want a good team to start off with and we have the nashville predators which is honestly very interesting nashville is a pretty decent team and for the overall range what are we gonna get here on nashville who can i select give me a good player oh 90 90 overall 90 plus 90 is it gonna be 90 it is we get a 90 plus overall player roman yossi is the only 90 overall player on the nashville predators so he is now the newest member of the chicago blackhawks all right here we go again one down 13 to go right please give me good team good team winnipeg winnipeg's a pretty decent team they got some good overall players on their roster i can live with that and for the overall range what are we gonna get here give me a good 90 that was a good start 81 85 is that we're gonna land on that is what we're gonna land on so we can choose from the overall range of 81 to 85 overall player on the Winnipeg Jets. So from the range of 81 to 85, we do have some pretty decent players here, but obviously I'm going to go with the 85 overall, which we have two on the team, Neil Pionk and Nikolai Ehlers. We got a defenseman and Roman Yossi. So Nikolai Ehlers, welcome to Chicago. And we're going to get the Carolina Hurricanes. Carolina, yes, sir. And Carolina. Okay, let's go to the attribute wheel. We're going to have to spin this again. This is the third spin on the wheel so far. Okay. Ooh, we get an 86 to 90 overall range. That is a very good one to get. So the 86 to 90 range, I mean, I gotta go with uh, your mom's a ho, Sebastian Ajo. 90 overall centerman. He's gonna slot in well next to Connor Bedard, that is for sure. All right, here we go yet again, spinning it again. I believe we have 11 left now. So still a lot of spins left on the wheel, and we are going to land on the Ottawa Senators. And we're going to be landing on the 75 to 80 overall range, which is probably the worst one on the wheel, honestly. So, so there's only one 80 overall. Actually, no, there's two 80 overalls on the Ottawa Senators. Ridley Gregg and Travis Hamannick. I'm going to take Travis Hamannick. And the next team that we're going to land on here, it is going to be the Calgary Flames. Okay, very interesting. And we're going to have to choose a player from the... Oh, give me 90. Do they have any 90s? We're going to land on an 86 to 90 overall range for Calgary. I mean, there's only one real choice here. It's got to be Elias Lindholm. Playmaker, 88 overall. And next up on the wheel, we have... Ooh, give me Edmonton. Yes, the Edmonton Oilers. And for the overall range, please. Oh my God, if I get McDavid on the team, that we will be literally complete. 91 to 94 overall. Now, there's actually no 91 to 94 overall players on Edmonton. Dry Settle misses out by one point. He's a 95, so we have to take the next best one, which is Zach Hyman at an 87. And we're going to land on the Detroit Red Wings. Okay. And we're going to get to choose an 86 to 90 overall, which I mean, we really have two choices here between Patrick Kane and Dylan Larkin, both 89 overall piece. But I mean, Patrick Kane sims a lot better in this game. So I am going to go with him. All right. So my recording did mess up, but we did land on the Pittsburgh Penguins. And for the overall wheel, we got the captain, which of course is Sidney Crosby. So adding him is definitely going to help out our roster a ton. All right. So far, so good on the wheel. Let's keep trucking along here the next team we're gonna land on is again gonna be the nashville predators we are back and we're gonna land on a 91 to 94 range which again we cannot do because nashville does not have any other player outside of roman yossi who we already have on chicago 
So we got to spin it again. We're going to get 91 to 94 again. Oh my God. All right. I'm just going to choose a random player just so we're not spinning the wheel a million times. I'm going to go with Ryan McDonough, 84 overall defender. All right. We have five spins left on the wheel and we are going to be landing on, yes, the Boston Bruins, a very good one to get. And we're going to be able to choose an 86 to 90 overall player on Boston, which I mean, there's only one real choice here and that is Linus Allmark, 90 overall goaltender. We also don't have a goal yet, so this fills our gap that we needed and moving along the list we're landing on the buffalo sabers next and we're going to be able to choose the captain oh no not the captain the captain kyle Ocpozo. i mean he's a decent player but he's a pretty low overall in this game he's way down there where is he at there he is 81 overall power forward welcome to the team buddy and we are going to be landing on the vancouver canucks another very good team to get i mean they've been doing very well in real life and we get to choose any player on the team we're gonna have to rock with a lot Elias Pedersen. I mean, he's a 94 overall. We could go with Quinn Hughes, though, 92. We do have a 94 overall D-man already. You know what? Yeah, screw it. I'm going with Elias Pedersen. Now, we only have two spins left on the wheel. Okay. We are getting down to the nitty gritty again. The Buffalo Sabres. No, nope, we're headed to Calgary up north and we are going to be able to. Oh, no, we're going to get to choose a 75 to 80 overall player on Calgary. Calgary only has one 80 overall player on their team, which is Connor Zari. And for the final spin on the wheel, we have the defending Stanley Cup champion Vegas Golden Knights. And we are going to be able to select. Oh, my God. 95 overall. I don't even know if they have a 95 overall. They do not. Their highest overall is Jack Eichel at a 91. So instead, I'm going to take Mark Stone, a winger. All right, so here is the new look Chicago Blackhawks. On the first line, we have Sebastian Ajo, Elias Pedersen, and Patrick Kane, who are at 89, 94, and 90 overall. A very stacked first line. On the second line, we have Bedard at an 86, Sidney Crosby, and Mark Stone, who are at 93 and 90. Then we have Nikolai Ehlers, Elias Lindholm, Zach Hyman on the third line. And on the fourth line, we have Taylor Hall, Dickinson, and Kyle Ocpozo. Offensively, our top pair is stacked. Roman Yossi and Seth Jones, 94 overall. Yossi, our best defender. We also picked up Ryan McDonough, and that's pretty much it for defensemen. And of course, our starting goalie is going to be Linus Allmark at a 90 overall. So yeah, we definitely improved Chicago's roster a ton. This is might be the best team in the entire NHL. It probably should be. We should be able to get a Stanley Cup within five seasons. If we don't, we fail a challenge. So let's go ahead and see if we can win a Stanley Cup with this roster, the new and improved Chicago Blackhawks. If you made it this far in the video, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more NHL content just like this we are going to absolutely cruise through the regular season finishing first in the entire nhl as we go 56 19 and 7 for individual numbers elias petterson is going to lead our team in scoring with 93 points followed by crosby's 91 patrick kane was up there with 88 mark stone had 77 your mom's a hoe 71 bedard had a pretty good rookie year i mean 68 points is not bad patrick kane is going to lead the way with 43 i knew he would simulate so goddamn well and it's actually a bit of a reunion party here for Patty Kane. Bedard had 39, Pedersen 35, Crosby had 32, your mom's a hoe had 22, or actually 23. Linus Allmark went 46, 15, and 5. Six shutouts and pretty good stats overall, I mean. Alexander Ovechkin's gonna end up leading the entire NHL and scoring with 111 points. Jason Robertson was up there, McDavid, Dry Settle, Breadman. Austin Matthews is gonna lead with 59, followed by Ovi's 57, Pasta had 52, and Dry Settle had 50. In the first round of the playoffs, we are up against the LA Kings and somehow we lost in the second round in game seven to the Dallas Stars how did that even happen as the goddamn Toronto Maple Leafs go on and beat Dallas in game seven of the Stanley Cup finals which makes absolute no sense at all Ovi's gonna take home the Ted Lindsay Art Ross and Hart Trophy the Maurice Richard obviously went to Matthews the Norris to Rasmus Dalin. the Conn Smythe is gonna go to William Nylander the Vesna to Linus Allmark and the Selkie will go to Connor McDavid now somehow in the second season we're absolutely gonna flunk down to nine in the NHL, only winning 45 games, losing 30 and 7 in overtime. 97 points on the season. We were not even close to the best team. That's actually very surprising. Yet again, Elias Pettersson is going to lead our team in scoring this time with 95 points. Crosby had 88. Patrick Kane, 82. Your mom's a hoe, 75. Mark Stone had 66. Bedard, 65 for goals on our team. Kane again is going to lead this time with 42. Crosby at 32. Bedard, 27. Pettersson, 27. And Aho, 25. Allmark is going to go 39. 
20 and 7. Four shoutouts, some pretty good stats. Honestly, I don't know why we didn't simulate that well this season compared to last year. Kita Kucherov's going to lead all skaters in points with 108, followed by Jack Hughes is 103. Kyle Connor had 101. McKinnon was up there at 101. Mark Shifley had a 100 point season. Now for the goal side, Ovi again is going to lead this time. Actually, he didn't lead last year. It was Matthews. I don't even know what I'm saying, but he is going to have 49 goals. Kucherov had 46. Kyle Connor, 45. Matthews had 50. And unfortunately for us, we are going to have to play the Colorado Avalanche in round number one. That's not a matchup I wanted to see personally. And yet again, we are going to choke, but this time in the first round as we lose the Colorado in five games. That is pretty embarrassing, honestly. As the Tampa Bay Lightning are going to go all the way, winning that Stanley Cup here in year number two. Kucherov is going to win the Ted Lindsay, Art Ross, and Hart Trophy. Ovi took home that Maurice Richard. The Norris to Josh Morrissey. The Con Smythe to Kucherov. Vesna to Thatcher Demko. And the Selkie will go to McDavid yet again. So the Chicago Blackhawks are going to have a comeback season as we finish first in the NHL, going 52-21-9. and Good enough for 113 points on the season. This time, Sidney Crosby is going to lead our team in scoring with 84 points. Pedersen was not far behind with 83. Patrick Kane had 79. Your mom's a hoe, 72. Rick Stone had a 70-point season for goals on her team. Bedard's gonna lead the rookie 18-year-old. 35 goals. Crosby at 34. Patrick Kane only 30, so a down season by him. Pedersen at 26. Sebastian Ajo, 26. Now for goalies, Allmark's gonna go 42, 19, and 7. Three shoutouts, and again, pretty good stats. Connor McDavid is gonna tear up the NHL leading in scoring with 125 points, and for goals, it's going to be Nikita Kucherov with 62. And five Finally, we have a favorable matchup in the very first round, which is the Anaheim Ducks. We should be able to get by them. If we don't, then honestly, I don't really have a hope for this team winning a Stanley Cup. The clock is ticking as well. And yet again, we get dominated by Dallas in the second round. This time we got swept as they went all the way and won the Stanley Cup, beating Tampa Bay in six games. Oh my God, this team is not going to win a Stanley Cup, is it? Brad Marchand is going to win the Ted Lindsay and the Hart Trophy, the Art Ross to McDavid and Maurice Richard to Kucherov, the Norris to Quinn Hughes, the Con Smythe is going to go to Jason Robertson, the Vesna to Allmark yet again, and the Selkie will go to McDavid for three years in a row. So at the end of year number four, yet again, we're going to finish as the best team in the entire NHL as we go 52, 22, and 8. Good enough for 112 points. Elias Pedersen is going to lead our team in scoring this time with 92 points, followed by Patrick Kane's 85. Crosby had 76. Mark Stone was up there. Bash Naho had 73. Lindholm 65 for the goal side. Pedersen is going to lead with 42. Bedard had 34. Crosby 28. Patrick Kane, only 25. For some reason, each year, he's basically gotten worse. Linus Allmark is going to go 44, 18, and 6. Six shutouts and his worst stats so far the simulation, but I mean, the six shutouts definitely carries it. Brad Marchand's going to lead all players in scoring with 114 points, and for goals, it's going to be Alexander Ovechkin, the greatest goal scorer of all time. He had 57 tucks on the season, and in round number one, we are up against the Minnesota Wild, and despite the fact that we came back down 3-0 to Dallas in the second round, we are going to lose game seven to this Seattle Kraken. As the Toronto Maple Leafs yet again go on and win the Stanley Cup, Brad Marchand is going to win the Ted Lindsay, the Art Ross and Hart Trophy, the Maurice Richard's going to go to Ovi, the Norris to John Carlson, the Conn Smythe Trophy again to William Nylander, the Vesna to Tristan Jari, and the Selkie will go to Connor McDavid yet again, four years in a row. So at the end of the fifth and final season, Chicago is going to end up being the second best team in the entire NHL as we go 52, 24, and 6. Good enough for 110 points on the year. Yet again, Elias Pettersson is going to lead our team in scoring this time with 93 points. Patrick Kane had a bounce back season, 92. Your mom's a hoe, 85. Lindholm was up there with 73. Connor Bedard, or Connor Budard had 65. Mark Stone, 63. Crosby only had 62 points and 19 goals. Not a good season at all. Patrick Kane's going to have a bounce back year, 45 goals. Bedard had 38. Pettersson, 32. And Lindholm, 32. Allmark is going to go 40, 17, and 5. Six shutouts and not very good stats, honestly. Jason Robertson's going to lead all skaters in points with 106 and for goals it's going to be Nikita Kucherov with 57 and unfortunately we have the Dallas Stars in round number one who have absolutely spanked us during the simulation it really has not even been close we won last year which is good but we should be very very worried here in round number one. Oh my god we are finally in the Stanley Cup finals it has taken us five long years to get here the very last season that we could do it we are here. We're up against the New Jersey Devils. Can we please go on and win the challenge, winning Chicago a Stanley Cup from the rebuild? And the Chicago Blackhawks have done it. We have gone on and won the Stanley Cup in the fifth and final season of the simulation as we defeat the New Jersey Devils. 
in six games in the Stanley Cup Finals. Honestly, I was losing hope. I mean, we pretty much got dominated the first three years. Last season, we made it to the Conference Finals and lost to Seattle. But in the final season, we got it done, man. We built a Stanley Cup roster, scoring goals in an offline and online game mode. We did it. That's it. Roman Yossi's actually going to take home the con. Smite three goals and 17 points for the D-man. Definitely probably well-deserved. I mean... That's a pretty good postseason run by a defenseman. And here comes our captain. I don't even know. Assistant captain, Sidney Crosby. I mean, who else would it be? Coming to lift the Stanley Cup for Chicago. As we have done it, we have completed the challenge and rebuilt the dumpster fire that is the Chicago Blackhawks. And that is going to do it for this video, boys. A very different but very fun video to make overall. I mean, the online game was very fun. We had a lot of fun there. And the offline game mode wasn't as fun, but we did score a lot of goals, which definitely helped us out in the simulation. I mean, we had 14 spins on the wheel. We should have won a Stanley Cup. It did end up taking us five long years to get there, but we got there. We got it done in the last season of the simulation. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, don't be silly. Wrap your willy.